Hello and welcome to this today's daily reflection for Friday the 31st of July. My name is David and I'm an occasional preacher and church warden here in Walton on Thames. It's great to be with you today. In today's reflection we're going to look at part of Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, verses 63 to 71. So if you'd like to grab your Bible and pause the video whilst you read the section, I'll continue in a moment. Before we start, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, open our ears that we may hear, open our eyes that we may see, and open our hearts that we may be filled with your love. Amen. I don't know about you, but when I read this passage, I actually feel quite uncomfortable. I find it an uncomfortable passage to read. Perhaps that's the point. Jesus is on his final day of life within the last 24 hours or fewer. It's quite something. But it's not that that makes me feel uncomfortable. It's the way he's treated, the soldiers who mock and beat and insult him. And the leaders of the people, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, they're digging, they're digging, they're trying to find anything which, with which they can condemn Jesus and get him sentenced to death. And why does it feel, make me feel uncomfortable? Because it reminds me of times in my life when I've been witness to insulting, bullying behaviour. Bullying behaviour is not pleasant. In fact, it's very unpleasant. It's very uncomfortable. And yet it happens. I think of times when I was a boy and the bullies in the playground picking on victims. I think of the workplace where bullying goes on, managers bullying workers. I think of the, the local community where people and groups gather together to victimise others. Social media is a great thing. It does wonderful things. It brings people together and highlights great causes. But it can also be a place of terrible bullying. How many times on the news have we heard how, you know, Twitter or YouTube or Facebook or any of the other major social media channels have been brought to book by others because they allow people to, to bully online with anonymity. That's the worst bit of that. It's so despicable. It's awful. And yet in this passage, we read that the soldiers who were guarding Jesus, they mocked him, they beat him, they blindfolded him and they demanded of him, prophesy, who hit you? Can you imagine Jesus blindfolded, the soldiers beating and spitting at him and hitting him and then say, go on then, prophesy, tell us who hit us, tell us who hit you, if you know. And then daybreak comes and the council of the elders of the people, both the chief priests and the teachers of the law met together and Jesus was led before them. If you are the Christ, they said, tell us. If I tell you, Jesus answered, you will not believe me. And if I asked you, you would not answer. Every time Jesus' words confound those who torment him, those who try to catch him out. They've tried all sorts of tricks to try and catch Jesus out, but none of them work. They've bullied him, they've persecuted him, they've beat him, and yet they still can't catch him out. The truth will out. Jesus' truth that he is the Messiah 
the Son of God will out, even if it means that he has to go to the cross to die and to rise again. The truth will out. So when we're in situations where people might say of us, you're one of those, aren't you? You're a Christian, you follow, you follow, you go to church, you're one of those, aren't you? You believe in all that stuff. Do we shy away? Are we a bit like Peter who denies? Or are we brave enough to stand in the strength of Jesus and be like him? And say, you believe that. You've seen me. You know I go to church. Yes, I am a Christian. We won't have to pay with our lives for proclaiming that. Some Christians around the world do. And Jesus paid with his life for all of us. So are we brave enough to stand up against the mocks and insults of those in our community, in our country, in our world who would mock us for following our Saviour, the man who brings truth to the world, the man who came to serve, who gave his life for us? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifice that you made on our behalf to restore our relationship with your Heavenly Father. We pray that this day and every day you will be with us and embolden us and encourage us and strengthen us every day to be able to stand up and proclaim, I am a Christian. I accept Jesus as my Saviour. Amen.